So talk about what you would like girls to get out of it in terms of like learning leadership and stuff like mm. that. I mean, I feel like girls simply have to watch the movie and learn that we can be leaders because unfortunately that's a message that's not widely accepted yet. I mean, simply that, that <laughs> we can be leaders, especially, you know, they go through this cr immense tragedy and they're still able to mm -hmm. not be defeated by it and be leaders. So simply getting that message across that not only can we be leaders, but it's a natural position for us to be in and we need to be feel supported enough to assume that position by media and by men as well. Yeah, and when do you feel like your character kind of realized that, that she needed to be the leader? Uh, you know, I feel like obviously she's really resistant to it in the beginning. I feel like the second it really clicks in her head that this is what Line would have wanted and this is, you know, her obligation to Line, she goes for it. I think that it forces her to assume that position and, um, I think that as soon as she does, she realizes it's something that she's very capable of. I think a lot of us have those moments where we're forced into it due to circumstances mm -hmm. and we realize we're capable of it and it changes us for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think just, I think line, line's the reason, I think line's the reason why she's able to do it. Yeah, and for you, uh, you know, you looked so believable. How much of it was your personality? Um, I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty, uh, rambunctious person in my everyday life. I definitely life. think that, like, you've got that innate goofiness about you. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel the need to, like, take anything, like, too seriously. And I think I, I think I share that trait with Caroline. Mm, yeah. It's a good trait. Um, it is a good trait. I also just, like, it wasn't, it wasn't a good trait for my parents when I was growing up. <laughs> um, come on, Tanika, keep it together. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just like to have fun, especially on a project like this, mm, where it's yeah. literally just, we get to have fun, we get to play volleyball, yeah. hang out with incredible yeah. girls. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why not? What was it about her care, her you know personality or her faith that you wanted other girls to get from the movie? Uh, well, I think what made line so incredible was just how especially at her age how she was able to um to go out you know and and reach out to everyone around her regardless of who they were if she knew them or not um made everyone feel like a friend welcome um loved and you know for someone at the, that age where like in high school it's all about clicks and fitting in she didn't care about that you know she was a person that was standing out um you know Loved, laughed, didn't take anything too seriously, and I think um, that's that's a really great way to live life. And I know that I've taken that um, the movement lived like line to heart personally since learning about it. Yeah, and how was it kind of Ernie's here today? You know, how was that kind of? Was he on set? What was mm -hmm. that experience? He yeah, was, he yeah. Uh, he came to set twice to visit, and it was it was so great having him there. I mean, I know for myself, I was so nervous about meeting him. There was a few times where, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't really know if if what I was doing was right, mm -hmm. um, and I was so nervous about you know portraying her correctly and you know giving it justice, and because I was so worried about crossing a line by accident or potentially. Um, you know, just doing something wrong, disrespecting in any way. Um, and when he came to set, he just, he made it clear that, that he was there for me and that it was, what we were doing was right. Um, and he was just, he's just this teddy bear of a man. Um, and I remember like the first day at set, like it was so emotional. So um, emotional. And yet he was there after everything that he's, he's been through. He was the one that was making all of us yeah. feel better. And kind of laugh. And Laughing, like, yeah, smiling. Yeah. Wiping away the tears. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, last question, was this uh, actually a workout because yeah, yeah. you're running oh, lines yeah. and stuff? So oh, this? The movie. Oh, the movie. I got, oh, I got abs for the first time in my life. Yeah. That's a good thing. Well, because yeah. also, we, pra we trained for the volleyball, but we also just did physical training because yeah, these women are training. powerhouses and they're, they're really so strong. strong. And, you know, like, we weren't athletes prior to this movie, so physically we just had to kind of, like, take on that physicality. Um, 
But it was, I mean, it was the most physically demanding, yeah. demanding job I've ever done. And then when you add to that, like the crying and the emotional aspect of it all, um, really tiring. But also as a result of that, like the most gratifying, like yeah. wrapping that job felt yeah. better than any other wrap that I've ever, just because we had been through so much. And like, I felt like I proved to myself, whoa, like, you can do you like uh, every day posed a new challenge and we took them all on and it was awesome and it was fun and mm -hmm. it was like it was just super gratifying yeah win this for yourselves One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the miracle season rated pg